This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Voyager class Starscream. Um, I apologize for the sound of my voice. It's going to sound horrible because I have this nasty cold. So I apologize for that. Second, uh, I will make this video review brutally honest because I know you guys want me to keep it real. So I want to be honest about this review. Uh, let's get right to it. This is Starscream, Revenge of the Fallen, in his robot mode. Uh, I have to say up front, I am not impressed with his robot mode. Uh, I seriously do not know what the fuss is all about. The, the whole concept of his robot mode just escapes me. It is beyond me how somebody can design a severely disproportioned, bird-like, robot mode um, I was skeptical about this robot design in the first movie and my suspicions are confirmed with the second figure with the second movie's figure and I I have tr I have trouble grasping with a concept of this robot mode positives on this figure the detailing is superb excellent detailing just the amount of detail the Hasbro put it to these to this figure is just amazing it is very movie accurate Yet again, I said, I just don't get the concept. I mean, I, I've even transformed the wings a little bit back so to give it effect. I, I don't get the whole wide torso, small head, severely large arms that are way off to the side, hips that are so wide, and yet the skinny legs, a lot of back cable. I mean, he looks menacing and all that, but... I I have trouble with the whole concept. The whole figure was is built well, but the concept about the robot mode, and I know you guys are gonna hate me for this, especially the fans, but it just doesn't impress me. Seven out of ten for this robot mode. Okay, articulation. Uh, ar the arms uh, they rotate 360, move in and out, and this is what gets me. The elbows don't even bend inward. The hands bend inward. But the elbows don't. They bend this way. So he can crawl, which is great. But he can't... He can't even scratch his... I mean, he can't... I would have expected a, at least a dual... A dual joint right there. But, you know. Also, the instruction says to fold out his hands. Apparently, in the final design, the hinge was removed. The missile fires very strongly I might add you can display it without the missile it looks like Gatling guns very nice uh, detailing again is impeccable all he all his uh, tattoos quote unquote is great uh, no hip articulation head rotates 180 degrees and it it, it, uh, it uh, gives you the back alive feature translucent gears spinning light piping is horrible Legs go forward and backward, in and out, rotate at the thigh. Oh, my neighbors just arrived. Uh, the ankles, uh, the ankles rotate 360 because of transformation, and they bend forward and backward. You get tons of articulation for the legs, but just the design of the legs, I, I just, I still don't get it. Okay. I mean, a lot of you might like this figure, and, and, and that's all great with me, but uh, in robot mode, to me, this is just okay. It's not terrible, don't get me wrong, it's just okay for me. I actually happen to like, let me put it inside, having said that, uh, let me just put it there, I actually even like the first version better. Look at this guy. Despite having the wide torso, you can pose him in a believable stance. It gives him a lot. Sorry, it gives him a lot of proportion. The legs aren't as proportioned to the body. The body's not that wide. And guess what? The elbows bend correctly. The elbows bend inward. He doesn't have legitimate hands. But again, this figure, in my opinion, is bigger. It, it it's got more proportion to him than this figure. It's it doesn't have as as accurate as uh, uh, details as this figure, but. I will go for this figure more than this, so I'll probably get the uh, Ramjet and Skywarp 
now that I've, I've seen what this guy looks like, even more now. I mean, uh, this figure to me is more impressive than this one. So, yeah. Okay. Transformation is quite interesting. Uh, all the parts go split up and go on top. Uh, you'll see in a bit, but uh, okay, enough of this robot mode. I, I apologize if I hurt a lot of feelings from, from those of you viewing this. I mean, if, if, if you absolutely hate my opinion on this, just turn off the video right now. Okay, uh, first thing you want to do is straighten out the arms. Just pop the shoulders back in. Pop the elbows back in, I'm sorry. Okay, fix the legs. Legs are easy to transform. Just fold the feet up. Close this hatch, rotate the ankle, and uh, pop in the knees. Easy as pie. Okay. And then just put the arms to the side, straight on the head, uh, the wings, or you can go ahead and transform the wings. Okay, just unfold it. Okay. And then what you want to do is split this, this tab right here. And everything, everything just moves up. Close the feet, sorry. Close over the head. Same thing here. Close the feet. And close over the head. Like so. And then just, oh sorry, make sure the joints are transformed properly. Okay. Okay, and just snap them together. Uh, as for the hand on the arms, they just snap in together like so underneath. Go ahead and transform the tail wings. Okay. These fins should be thin, but they're thick because of the Mech Alive gimmick. Okay, just position it like an F-18 Raptor. And lastly, you want to just close in on the wings. Hold them up and then tab it in. Tab everything in. Hold up the nose cone. Just make sure it's tight. And there you have Starscream in his F-18 Raptor mode. This is fantastic. This alt mode is probably the only good thing going for this figure. 10 out of 10 for me. He has landing gear, which is amazing. I don't think this guy had landing gear. Yeah. I mean, legitimate landing gear, at least. Okay. Now you can store the missiles on the thrusters or the Gatling guns, or you can connect it here under the wing, just like how you would uh, a GI Joe fig, a GI Joe vehicle. If you have GI Joes, you'd be very familiar with this uh, friction peg. Fantastic looking jet. Absolutely wonderful. I, I'm even tempted to just display him in jet mode. I have nothing bad, nothing terrible to say about this mode. Even this kibble is, is, is it doesn't bother me one bit. But uh, again, as I said, in a robot mode, 7 out of 10. This guy, 10 out of 10. Just amazing detail. You can see all the tattoos right there and it's all its glory. Just amazing. Final thoughts on this figure. If you are staying in Manila, uh, you all know that Voyagers have jumped up. The price of Voyagers have gone from $30 to $34. It's just ridiculous out here. Uh, it's because of the importation duties and transportation costs and all that. But Voyagers are $34. So, my advice... If you're on the fence, if, if, if you absolutely love this figure, you adore it, you want to get it right away, go ahead and pick him up. But if you are on the fence about this figure, I say wait. Just wait for him on clearance or just get him last. Pick out all the figures you, you want first, like Sideswipe, Sideways, uh, Skids, Mudflap, uh, everybody else. Maybe even the leader figures that, that, that you wanted. If you're on the fence on this figure... You can pick it by just buy him last. He's not worth hunting down. He's not worth just losing sleep over. I mean, to me, uh, this figure is not terrible, but it certainly is not awesome.
So there you have it, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Starscream.